to another episode of Blazed Outlaw Rivers. This episode we have another uh, sniper base, although this is more of a true headshot only base. You should be able to get most every every kill with a headshot. So what I've done here, <clears throat> painted most of it yellow, and, and the red blocks are the actual important blocks. Okay, so I did my normal floating base with the plates on bottom and on top. I the float, so I'll just pass directly underneath them. So, zombies will jump up here. These uh, new uh, ramp blocks that require four. Uh, let's see, what are they? They are. Wedge narrow high, middle, low, and hip along both sides. That will funnel all the zombies into a single file line. And then I did the same thing on the roof here, which will force them to come down like this. And that makes them uh, makes the zombies go into crawl mode. And there's uh, electric fence wires strung across it in a shoelace pattern. Go around back here. Jump up here. And what it is, I went from power source to the first one, and then the first one over to the second one on this one, and then back to the third one. This one I did that on both sides, so it's basically a shoelace. So at each point, the zombies hit a wire, four, four wires crossing, but at each point, there's actually two wires. <clears throat> so if they, if this one gets taken out, it's still got another wire going across that same location. So you basically uh, effectively have eight <clears throat> uh, electric fence wires across there. And since they're daisy chained down the row, if this one goes out, and even if the, this one and the first one inside both go out, there's still these other ones that are that are uh, active. So you'll get, uh, you know, eight, basically eight chances to kill the zombies before they get to these red bars. And they have to get through these bars. Even if they took out all of the, the electrical fence wires, um, they still have to get through two sets of bars. And we did put a shotgun turret on top to take care of the birds for us. It's all run off of this generator. Now normally in an in a, a actual game world, I will try to run all the electrical off of battery banks charged by solar panels. Uh, but since we're just in the, the build world and all we're doing is showing the basic design of this style of base, it doesn't really matter. Now, the box you use make no difference. Only the red blocks are important. The uh, wedge narrow blocks on both sides and the wedge narrow blocks here force them into crawl mode. And then I'll show you how this works real quick. Drop a hey thank you. Drop a zombie here. Get her attention. Gonna run right past where I'm standing. I guess it helps if I turn this on, huh? And she should come up those stairs there at the end. There she is. Right into crawl mode. Bam! Headshot. So, let's go ahead and set this to day 7000 horde night. That time day seven thousand twenty one fifty five. Now you will have to have a lot of ammunition to 
Uh, well, maybe not a lot. It, it depends on how good of a shot you are. I currently have a little 1,529 shots. I have my tactical rifle, which is my favorite ga uh, weapon in the game. I've got the assault rifle, and I've got a sniper rifle. But let's just see how this goes. Hopefully it's better than my last 5x5 five five challenge. Now, as they die, they will build up and block this. Uh, so, you could put garage, those garage doors like I showed in some of my other videos. Um, so that they close, or a vault door or something, a power door underneath instead of, that they have to crawl across instead of these uh, solid blocks and then just wire them to a panel here on the floor. They stay closed and then <clears throat> when the bodies build up like this you just back up off of it or onto it and the door opens, they, all the bodies and everything fall You can sit here all night long doing this. Now these board is set to nightmare speed <clears throat> and uh, I think max 64 the zombies. But they'll just keep filing down the road here. The only thing you have to be careful of is if you stop shooting for a long period of time, they will push each other all the way through the wires. You know, as they build up behind, they're all pushing on each other. They will push the the, the ones at the head of the pack through the through the next wires. Anybody that's a halfway decent shot is getting nothing but headshots on this. I am not a halfway decent shot, but even I can get, you know, a higher than normal amount of headshots. Or you can sit here and shoot them before they even get down the passageway. The other uh, change you might consider it, it, you know, put the, that door in so that you can drop the bodies, but that would also drop the um, loot bags, which will make it easier for you to get those loot bags. I just didn't put that door in myself this time. I will probably do another video where, based on this design, where I do put that door in, show you how to get it in, wired up, and working properly. In fact, that will probably be my next building video. Show you how that is done. Switch over to the AK for a bit. Here are my tactical rifle. Let's try the, the
Come on, come on, get what's coming to you. Now I built this one out of steel because uh, I believe that's the end goal for all of my bases to get them all 100% upgraded to steel. The strongest, uh, strongest building material in the game. You can see how all the bodies and bags piled up here makes it kind of hard to see what you're doing. Like I said, in the next video, I'll show you how to solve that problem with a powered door. This is the basic design. And like I said, you can design this base any way you please using whatever blocks and shapes you want to. And the only thing that's really important is those uh, wedge tip or, or uh, wedge narrow blocks down at the end. As you can see, all the bags piling up is becoming a problem. You can barely see through them. I'm not even sure if we could shoot through them. It appears that I can, I can shoot right through them. I just can't see what the hell I'm shooting at. There it is, almost midnight. Yeah, a lot of times you can kill them all off before they even get down the the, the kill corridor here. And like I said, any of you that are a good shot can probably do this with mostly headshots. Gun again. Can't see anything. The only way I know there's a zombie there is hearing the electricity sound. All the bags piled up.
now I'm basically just shooting towards the center, maybe a little low, and only when I hear the fence being hit. Check on these. All five of those are there. They haven't broken yet, but I suspect that the they're pushing the zombies through the wires, you know? The front ones are being pushed by the ones in the back. I may need to spawn some more ammunition. I can't see what I'm shooting at. Get some more of that 762 going on in here so that I have enough to get through the Horde Knight. Thirty in the morning. Give some more. Uh oh, did we run out of zombies? Okay, sounds like we ran out of zombies. Go ahead. Um, set time, 
Again, to make sure there aren't any out there waiting for me. Okay. So as you can see, let's bring my down here. Check out. There is literally almost no damage on here. Look at all of these bags. Very little damage. Look at that. Act solid all the way down from that point all the way down to the bars. Plus all of this out here. That's uh, really good. And we ended the horde at 1.30 in the morning. So... There you have it. Headshot only. The only change we need to make, and I'll do it in the, for the next video, is putting in the uh, doors. We'll put a trap door back here, so that all we have to do is step back from the bars and open the door and all that stuff will pop. <clears throat> and that has been another episode of Blazed Outlaw Builders, and this is the headshot only head uh, horde base providing you're good enough to get headshots uh, more than just by accident